Yeah, buddy, John here from Empire RV, and I've got a uh, 2003 Newmar Dutch Star uh, that we got as a, uh, came to us as a bank repo. We're gonna take you on a uh, video tour of this coach. We are selling it as is, as a project. It does need uh, quite a bit of work here, so uh, I'm gonna just take you up a walkthrough of it, pretty much. So it's got a, uh, of course, it's a diesel pusher, triple slide. It does have the slide awnings up front, and here you've got an O&M 7500 Quiet Diesel. I do have it running. Um, I think it has about 1,100 hours on it. You got the big front windshield. I've got your uh, door awning out as well as the patio awning, and it's sitting on uh, the 22 and a half inch wheels. The step is loose. I think it's missing the motor, so I don't need to check, check out, see what we need to do there to fix that. Again, we are selling it as is. We have not tested anything. I have uh, came out here to take the photos of it, so. I did try a few things while I'm out here, so I tried the awning, the door awning, those type of things. Uh, so I'll tell you what I do know. Um, again, it's on the 22 and a half inch wheels. I think the date stamps, I took a photo, I think. I may be wrong, but they look like they're probably from 2019. Um, just take a look at the photo in the listing. Um, here's your living room slide. You've got uh, dual side fueling on this model. So you can feel it from either side, and then you're gonna have that, uh, it should be all storage down here. Here's a look at your basement style storage. And then again, we do have the motor running. You've got your... It does have a window awning on this side. Let's look at the motor. you have a, a qualified person set that back up for you and test it and make sure it's safe uh, you got slide toppers on the slides so let's go ahead and make oh I did try the um, the leveling jacks those did work as well it's got the HWH leveling system that went up and down for me so on your way to the inside I don't know what's going on with the steps they look kind of greasy or oily I don't know what happened there I think it was like maybe carpet and they peeled it off or something some kind of glue all right so now that we're in the inside, like I said, I did try the levelers. It's got uh, this air gauge here. It's, I believe it's faulty because it, it just shows low air, but it does it does air up. See the top, the top gauge is fine, but that, that doesn't show any air, but it, I did drive it and it is airing up. It has uh, 52,750 miles, so there is something wrong with that gauge. And um, let me just go ahead and shut this off. Oh, and the key deal. It's got a high tech anti theft system, so you gotta like reach down here to grab the key and then you shut it off and then let it dangle back down. Fancy. Uh, so, the biggest issue with this coach that I know of is the roof. The roof is bad, it's got water leaks coming in. So, you've got from here, and then it looks like it had some dripping coming here. And then I don't know if the window was leaking but I can see signs of water leaks here um, then I did notice that somehow it looks like a leaks coming through this seat built deal here so I just want to point out what I know so we are selling like I said a project unit and then it does look like I looked at the headliner closely and you've got some water coming in here um, so like I said it is being sold as a project if you are someone that wants to uh you know work on it and fix it up little by little this would be a good good coach for you but 
if you don't have the skills of know how then you may want to stay away from this one uh, we have the cabinets all look great and then your captain's chairs you got your normal you know wear for it being a 2003 and other than that the carpets you know you will stay i think going on here and it needs a good detail but you got real tile floor in the kitchen it is a new mark so everything's pretty top of the line um, you got solid surface countertops three burner stove convection again i do said i do have that generator running i did try the acs um so i got the living room ac here the first zone to come on zone two back here i couldn't get to go on but so the issue is when i select zone one you see you can filter through the modes and all that stuff and then when i go to zone two the whole thing turns blank so i don't know how to get it to flip over to zone two so uh, that's what i seen there um here's a look at your bathroom since we're here you got your nice vanity all that good stuff and then you've got your refrigerator here and then i don't know what the deal is with this but it's got another fridge here that was kind of you know if it's got a actually i think it's an ice maker or something i don't know i think it's got this deal here um so living room pretty much sums up there i did also notice that we did have the headliner here so it's like it's got some water damage going on back here as well so uh need you guys to know what i know so carpets here are need a good cleaning and then in the back here's your bedroom and oh it had a washer dryer i think at one time they did remove it you got your wardrobe closet queen island uh, queen island bed and i think that pretty much sums up this tour so if you have questions or need more photos of something uh we'll try to help you answer those and i don't mind running out and doing like a video facetime call with someone if they want to have a walk around if you're out of state or something we do that all the time uh but yeah so you're looking at a 2003 new mar with 52,000 miles triple slide diesel pusher with an ON, ONN quiet 7500 generator uh, project unit that we're selling here. And if you have questions, call us 936 253 8130. Thanks for watching.